Welcome to the Geek Easy, fellow geeks. Let's grab a beverage of your choice. Because today, I'm going to be doing a Christmas haul. Uh, it's only going to be part of it. Because I've only, I have some of it coming in the mail, and then I also haven't used the rest of my stuff. Yeah, but, okay, first of all, this and another a shirt that's also yellow. There's also a pair of shorts to go with it, but, you know, I'm wearing them right now, but I don't think you want to see me getting up and showing you my shorts. Okay. Uh, my mother sent me a a Christmas check, which I think I did it on, got it on Friday, and I quickly went and deposited it, and got online and ordered something off in stock trades, and it is still being, waiting to be processed. There's three things in that, and, uh, I will consider that part of my, you know, Christmas haul, but I will have to show you that when I get it. Now, when I went over to my sister's house on Christmas Day, there was also a, another little thing under the tree from my parents, which I thought was kind of cool. Not really comics related, but it is sci-fi. Uh, Patrick Stewart memoir. Making it so, which I thought was kind of cool, and I'm going to be reading through that at a you know, at my leisure. Okay, and then my older sister got me a gift certificate to you know the the used bookstore that I always get my trades from. She got me a gift certificate for there. And man, I got up this morning. I couldn't wait for them to open. That thing was burning a hole in my pocket. Because they always have some good stuff there. Either, you know, good trades. Every once in a while they might have an omnibus there. But uh, I haven't, you know, seen. Yeah, like uh, the one they have right now. There's only one. Is a. Uh, uh, Conan the Barbarian, which I'm not a big fan of, but I've gotten some of these things like right up in there, like the the dictionary, you know, uh, DC encyclopedias and stuff like that, which I've got. Uh, there's some really good stuff and some movies and all that, but there's only two things that I got today, which only cost me 20 of it, so I still have 30 more bucks left. Uh... This I got, I had never heard of the thing before, but the breakdown made it sound pretty interesting. Of course, the cover doesn't hurt. Blue Estate. Uh, it's issues one through three. Uh... Like that, there's a bottle of a glass of booze with a uh, a uh, <laughs> pistol in it. Uh, someone describes it as Blue Estate takes the best of Guy Ritchie and Quentin Tarantino, but re remains unabashedly original. Uh, Blue Estate is a slice of absurd depravity that'll tickle your ribs and probably be probably with a loaded weapon. Four out of five. Um, it says, Blue Estate deals with a low-rent, private eye trying and failing to escape the long shadow of his respected cop father. But a chance encounter with a B-list action star drags the wannabe gumshoe into a world of strippers, mobsters, and the wildest and only case of his career. 
see who lives, who dies, and who gets the tiger blood knocked out of them in the first four issues of the fast, funny, smash hit new crime series from Image Comics. So yeah, I mean that that was uh, was really actually kind of interesting uh, breakdown, and I've read it already. But anyway. And then, that was only 10 bucks, which is weird, because you know, see how thin it is right here, right? But then, I saw this. It is Batman, The Com Complete History. Uh, front, side, back. And uh, it is just incredible. I mean, here you got the inside plus the cover flip thing with a bunch of little things that you can use to mark your pages. Some of the old, old Batman art. Uh, first few pages in here are just, you know, old yeah, things from the Golden Age. I mean, it's even Bat. Man, back from the from the 39s, the life and times of the Dark Knight. A little breakdown there. A little bit more art, and then uh, so it's it's really neat to see some of the old uh, you know stuff from back in the day. And then there's you know. Couple more things of that. I don't think you need to see every one of them. But then it kicks in with the first chapter, Shadows, and it starts. Yeah. Boom. Starts in. This is a uh, Batman came from out of the darkness, out of the collective unconsciousness, where visions of avenging angels dwell. Uh, and it just it, it just starts going into how like I haven't gotten very far into it, but how it was inspired by the pulps, and it just it keeps it just goes into a whole bunch of different things, and it is just some incredible uh, pieces of art and history in there, the adventures of Alfred, and then I guess it goes and look at the old. The old thing from the old serials back in the day. Uh, so yeah, this ought to be a really fun read. It's not something that you need to work. You, I need to work my way through, you know, very quickly. But uh, the old, uh, the old '66 Batman suit. Uh, But yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a really interesting book. I'm glad I got it, and this only cost me ten bucks, which <laughs> the '89 suit, or maybe that's actually it's not '89. That's the uh, that's from Returns, and then here's the Catwoman suit from the Burton movies. But yeah, I cannot wait to. Uh, start working my way through this book. It's going to be really interesting. But that is my Christmas haul so far. I've got a couple other things, but, you know, just nothing related to this channel much except for uh, you know, the movie passes. It can help me when I, uh, for when I do reviews and stuff, but but that's my, uh, my hauls so far. And there's more to come because I have stuff in the mail, coming in the mail or when it gets mailed out and I've got more of my used bookstore uh, gift certificates. So there will be more later on. So let me know what you think of what I got. Uh, what's your favorite piece of what I got here? And to like, subscribe, most of all, enjoy your comics.